We announced the November 2nd release date at the press conference and we're very happy about it. It gives us enough time to make a Gran Turismo game, which is up to par with the standards everyone has come to expect. We'll be able to release the game of a high quality level. We stated new courses here this week at E3. City courses of Rome and Madrid, the Top Gear test course, and the countryside course of Tuscany, Italy. They're all different in many ways, and there was a great deal of effort put into accomplishing this. We also announced the day to night transition within the game at E3. We've had this photo mode function since GT4, but this time there was extreme detail put into the cars and courses, almost too much detail. So the upgraded photo mode was a feature that was absolutely necessary. Driving techniques can be learned from Gran Turismo, but I've learned that there is a completely different world of racing out there. I've almost fully understood what that different world is about, but for now we're trying to install the atmosphere of motorsports into Gran Turismo 5. We're going to push forward until the release date. We received positive feedback at E3, so the team including myself is very motivated to run strong until the finish line. Thank you very much. Is he going to be able to finish it this time? I don't know, it depends how. This is a, this is a, this is a two minutes thing. <laughs> 23 years of racing reduced to humiliation on a rooftop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't do that at the start of a 24 hour race. <laughs> Normally I'd have someone on the radio going, What the f what are you doing? <laughs> I had a drink in there on Friday night. Yeah. So how do you like the game? So it's good. I'm yeah. really. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, like physics. Yeah, yeah my my eyes are just crossed on this screen. It's, it, it's amazing. Well, then don't try the 3D one. The physics are amazing. <laughs> I love that. Wow, that is fantastic.